Hello viewers. So if you look at the business cycle fund, as the name suggests, it is a fund which is focusing on the various cycles which the macroeconomic indicators allow fund managers to decide upon. So if you look at the current market environment where because of the strong domestic growth in India, the domestic cyclicals have done well. So the fund has been positioned that way since the last two years, which has benefited the investors. Same way at a later time, when the domestic cyclical sectors start to do badly because Indian macro environment may probably turn bad at that point of time, the fund has the ability to move on a macro level thinking towards the defensive sectors like IT, Pharma, FMCG, etc. So it is this macro approach which helps the business cycle fund differentiate itself from the other funds. So yes, markets have the tendency of being undervalued, overvalued, but the good part about the business cycle fund as such is its ability to move across sectors, within sectors, across market caps, which gives enough flexibility for the fund manager to build in enough checks and balances to wait through sometimes overvaluations and obviously take advantage of undervaluation at times. So I would say be it for an SIP or for a lump sum, as long as an investor has more than five years investment horizon through this macro based play of, under, uh, of focusing on sectors through the economic cycle, the business cycle fund would suit uh, across all points of time, be it for SIP or for uh, lump sum investment. So if you look at from a who should invest in business cycle funds, I think uh, all investors who have a more than five year horizon can invest. But yes, for those investors who already have a certain level of exposure to equities and then want to add the macro based investing theme now, to this I would like to add that since the last 15-20 years, the activity or the outcomes of the equity markets have been most uh, impressioned by the global central banks and the global macros. To that extent, uh, I would say all investors uh, should have a macro based investing fund like the business cycle fund in their portfolio. At the time horizon, we would believe that anyone who has a more than five year time horizon because in equity funds in general, we would believe that anyone who has a more than five year horizon will be able to get the full benefit of what the fund is trying to achieve. And uh, to that extent, the risk is that if you do not have that five year horizon and if the markets kind of go through its uh, downward cycle as it happens when there is overvaluation or there is a sudden economic event or an event which we do not probably be able to foresee like wars or COVID then that risk is normally temporary or it's in the shorter term. So if you have more than five year investment horizon, these risks will probably take care of itself. But if you have a less than five year horizon, there are risks in equity which are always there. So to that extent, the business cycle fund is applicable and is possible for all investors to invest irrespective of whether they are starting investors or sophisticated investors. And uh, the risks are generally the market risk because everything else the fund manager should be able to manage with the diversity of sectors and the market capitalizations which the business cycle fund is capable of doing. Thank you. Sure, so I think if you look at the time of launch, there were a lot of uncertainties as to how the world would probably emerge from COVID, how the country would emerge from uh, fighting the lockdowns and uh, post the lockdowns, what kind of an economic environment it would we would be in. Uh, but if you look at the macro environments at that point of time and the macro indicators, they all were indicating that the domestical cyclical stories or cyclical sectors, uh, be it banking, cement, manufacturing, all of them are probably going to do better in the next two to three years because the domestic Indian environment was looking much better than the global environment because we somehow had handled the COVID uh, lockdown as well as the post-COVID economic era very well and that has played out in terms of our positioning. I think investors who have invested in the uh, NFO as well as those who invested after that have seen the kind of benefit that macro-based investing uh, into the domestic cy cyclical sectors in India have helped the uh, fund and we do believe that the fund over a period of next 5, 10, 15 year journey through its interplay between 
domestic cyclicals and defensives based on the macro uh, factors which the fund managers believe are impacting the economy right now should do well for the investors going ahead so last three years have been satisfying and we do believe that uh, as we move along we hope to be able to decide based on the macro factors what is the positioning of the fund and in turn try to uh, get the risk adjusted returns which investors probably require for their long-term wealth creation thank you